Hey, what's up guys? Surreal Canine here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we were kind of embarrassed when we failed a mission in the Northern Desert and had to get rescued by Brenton Ark. Uh, as you can see, Buck was kind of a casualty of this, but I will pull him back onto the team. No worries there. <coughs> Everybody else got back from their missions, and nobody found the time gear, uh, which is a problem because it doesn't means we don't know where the the thief Ben Nikolai will strike next. Search for the time gears on your own initiative. So yeah, maybe we should end up going back to the northern desert. So yeah, uh, Daniel has been here before, uh, so... Uh, since he's got the same feeling as Fogbound Lake, maybe there is a time gear after all. Let's go! Hi, Malleus. All right, let's grab Buck. We can keep Cacnea around because uh, having a grass type will be super useful against all these uh, all this ground type craziness. Uh, let's check my items. Let's see. I've got two grimy foods that I, uh, kind of don't want to use for anything. We've got a dainty box and a glittery box, and the funds to, uh, get something with it. Let's withdraw everything, uh, just in case we have the, uh, gummy mother load like we did in the last episode. Let's see here. No gummies, but we do have two Reviver Seeds, which is nice. Can never have too many Reviver Seeds, really. Let's see, what can I stash? Grimy food will definitely be recycling. Cherry Berry we can probably recycle. Uh, These, uh, these we can recycle. I'm going to keep the Slumber Order and Spurn Orb, just in case we hit another monster house. <coughs> and let's withdraw, like, a zillion, uh, Reviver Seeds here. Five ought to be good, as well as a, uh, a Cross Eye Seed and a Stun Seed. That sounds about right. Because there will be a boss in this upcoming dungeon. Hello, Merlot. We've got some boxes for you to appraise. Tyro Sweat. That is uh, the Tyrogue family, probably. Tyrogue, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Hitmontop. Luxio Claw. That is for the Shinx family. Uh, let's go see if uh, we can uh, get Gilliam to swap for anything cool. Pikachu hair. Hello. Uh, desert. What is a desert satch for? Cac. That's for Cacnea. 
During Sandstorm, boost movement speed by one level. Well, that's nice, but, uh... Hmm. Abra. Maniac Trick. And Dunsparce. Alright, well... Probably gonna want that Pikachu hair. What's that other one that was worth five? Oh yeah, yeah, we can take this. Let's see here. What's this? Why not? That works for me. Says we happen to have a Cacnea. So, we have an exclusive item for uh, every one of our party members right now. It's pretty sweet. <coughs> Alright, and let's drop by the cafe to recycle some of our goods, and then we can uh, get going. Don't have anything to blend today. Let's see, what is the new offer? Same offer as last time. Let's see... Uh... Oh. Yeah, alright. Silver ticket it is. Prime foods... Really need a cherry berry. Do not need a roll call orb. Uh, those are not all that. Nor do we need a switcher orb, and I guess we can get rid of a. <laughs> Good question. Well, we got loads of orb berries, so what the heck. I'm feeling yet lucky. Let's yellow. Is it a big win? Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Max elixir. Eh, that's nice, I guess. All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, actually, no. We can hang on to our cash. Make sure we have the items we want for this. Lots of Reviver Seeds, yeah. Uh, sleep Seed, Stun Seed, Cross Eye Seed for the bosses. A couple of Max Elixirs for us. Uh, I think we are good. Not very many item slots, but uh, what you gonna do, really? Quick Sand Desert. Let's go. Well, we're back. It still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. And quicksand pits, obviously. Is there something more here? What kinds of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place, I know it somehow. Looking out over this, I have to admit Abram is right. There really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits, and aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait, wait a second. There's only quicksand. That's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward, or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, Daniel? What? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Are you serious, Daniel? Are you seriously suggesting that we should jump in? Oh 
Okay, I trust you, Daniel. I have faith in you, Daniel. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far. During our first exploration... Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. I put my faith in you that time too, Daniel. I was able to go on then because you helped me be courageous, Daniel. My feelings haven't changed since then, so let's go for it. Let's jump into that quicksand pit. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! And they were never seen again. Oh, there they are. We saw them. Ow, my backside. <laughs> Who says that? It's a cave. And some more really nice music. Alright, let the Time Gear search begin. So yeah. Uh, by now... Well, Daniel would have found his way down, but remember Malleus is helping us out, and... Perhaps he might be able to tell something is off here. So, it would have just been on the first day that they got here. Hey there, Ninkata. Ooh, Sinister Box. Very nice. Whoa! Warp Trap, baby! Uh, there go those guys. Gonna... Whoop! <laughs> Aram stepped on the Warp Trap like a doofus. Cacneo stepped on the Warp Trap like a doofus. Okay, we have Pupitar. Pupitar is a rock type. And I level up. It's pretty sweet. And there's Sand Slash. Uh, you just get on, right on out of here, right? Ooh. That looks painful. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I once again forgot to replace Vacuum Cut with the, with the other thing, but that's fine, I guess. We shouldn't have to call on Brent and Ark to rescue us this time, given how many Reviver Seeds I brought. So, this dungeon has a midpoint and, besides that, 21 floors total. So, uh, yeah. The game is definitely getting longer. But, I mean, hopefully we catch Ben and, uh, and, uh, that'll be the end of things, right? <laughs> right? Right? I think I can probably turn on uh, Abrams' uh, special moves again. It seems like it'll work just fine. Whoops! Uh, did not mean to use vacuum cut there. Oh no, don't you fury swipe that guy, Mr. Guy. That ain't kosher. Uh, people in the Drod forums are talking a lot. Uh, today's the day the Arky contest uh, finally got revealed. Uh, I was around uh, like 22nd place out of 35, I think, so... Uh, eh. I guess it's not bad for my first ever architecture, but uh, still. Mawile, pure steel type. This is not Gen 6, so she is not Steel Fairy yet. Also, I flinched. That's, uh, that's great. Get out of here.
Okay, let's go. Yeah, there's a shockwave for ya. Faux seal orb, that's nice, I guess. Will be handy if we ever uh, get stuck in a monster house. You never know when those are gonna show up. Yeah, you're being helpful. Alright, midpoint. But, we are not going to be saving. Uh, ever since I replaced my computer's power supply, we have not had sudden uh, shutdowns, but... I mean, it still helps to be cautious, just in case... Uh, <clears throat> something else breaks the recording. And I talk about being cautious, and then I don't save. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. Hey, there's Sand Slash. Yeah, take that, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Another mile. They are a cool Pokemon. Uh, Pupitar. Yet another Pupitar, which I have already said is a rock type. I even said that in the very same video, so... I'm just kind of rambling, and, uh... Okay, uh, Cacnea! Now that we have his exclusive item, we get... He gets a, a movement speed bonus in Sandstorm, so that's good for him. Tyranitar is a rock type, maybe also a dark type. I don't remember. Uh, one of the pseudo legendary Pokemon. This one from the second generation. It's kind of a pain. Uh, fortunately, he's actually really slow, I think, even for a, a pseudo legendary. like a pain. Was that rollout? Let me check the message log. Yep, that was a rollout. My tricks have been turned against me. Oh, looks like we're out of items. Well, in that case... Ooh, Scorpy. Uh, a poison bug type. As we have uh, said during uh, Izzy's story. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why I was expecting something to happen. Ouch. Defense down is not really a thing we want, especially if uh, all these sand slashes no roll out. Come on. Uh oh! Fury swipes is about as bad as roll out. Uh, Buck. I'm passing the buck to you. <laughs> Here, have a Geo Pebble. Yes, thank you, Defense Curl. Now roll out, right? No, just another Defense Curl. Come on, Buck. You are, you are being a th a regular attack, really? Well, okay. Uh, time to heal myself, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye out on Buck's HP here. Starts getting uh, really low. Oh, okay. Well, here's the stairs, so. Yeah, as you can see, rock types uh, are not immune to electric types, uh, unlike what the Pokemon anime would have you think. <laughs> Oh dear, another sandstorm. Hippopotus is a ground type, uh they were a thing. Alright, yeah, I'm going to heal Buck, because uh, this is making me a little nervous. So 
not quite as bad as being poisoned, but it's pretty close. I might sword stance myself here. That seems uh, like an appropriate thing to do. Buck, wh where are you? Buck. Buck, you are being a dumb. Please. Alright, whatever. I guess it might be because, uh, Cacnea. Ooh, ouch. Sand Tomb. It's a ground type move that might decrease accuracy. Seems like a thing I might do. Alright, Buck is no longer getting stuck on us. Okay, level 21, and he can learn a new move. Hyper Fang! Heck yeah! Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get rid of Defense Curl. I mean, it's nice for a solo journey, but not quite when, uh, not when he is not the leader. Get out of here. Onions, get out of here. Uh, which way? I guess I'll start by going this way. It's a dead end. Here. Cacnea, you deal with this guy. That is, uh, whoops. Did not need to, uh, swap places with him again. Oh well. Take that. I leveled up! Very cool. There's the stairs, finally. I'm not going to disturb that sand slash, because I know what's good. Uh, Ninjask. Bug and flying type, I think. The evolved form of Ninkata. They are very fast. Very, very fast. Ooh, ingrain. Uh, that seems like it might be nice. It's incapable of moving, but regains HP every few turns. So, uh, yeah. Uh, pretty, uh... Cacnea is gonna end up pretty tanky uh, with the build like this. I like it. You know, just uh, lay down an ingrain and a leech seed and just take a licking and keep on ticking. As they say. <clears throat> Another grimy food. Well, it's uh, good for trading for a cleanse orb at least. Actually, I wonder if grimy food uh, can be cleaned up by a cleanse orb. That will be something I will have to investigate. Uh, Abram? Yes, okay. We're okay. We're all okay. Ooh. Yeah, see? Uh, just keep on ticking. Ooh, shiny box. What can I trade for this? The all mock orb, yeah. That's not going to be useful except in a monster house, and it's not as useful as other things we could bring into a monster house. Actually, no, I guess it would be useful against a, uh, against an outlaw, but we are not dealing with outlaws right now. You're just dealing with weather. Whoop. Hello. And Cacnea just wakes up on his own. <laughs> it's pretty great. It is just constant sandstorming down here. 
Like, why is there even a sandstorm? We're underground. There shouldn't be very much wind at all. Pin Missile. Uh, I guess that confirms that Tyranitar is a dark type. Because Pin Missile, I believe, is a bug type move. Yeah. Hello, Hippopotapotato. This is going to be ugly. Thank you for that buck. Abram, level up. We're just gaining levels all over the place, man. It's pretty great. <sighs> Mind Reader, the next attack is a guaranteed hit. Uh, fortunately, you are dead, so that does not matter. Grimy food, uh, well... Well, since we are right next to the stairs, it doesn't actually matter if we get poisoned. <laughs> need to take advantage of our environment. We should be nearing the bottom of this place pretty soon. Cute box. Yeah, might, might as well eat the next grimy food, I guess. Yeah, yeah, poison. Ooh, uh, this might be a good place to vacuum cut. A couple of misses, but, uh, that's... that's fine. That's extra fine. You guys are getting uh, kind of uncomfortably close. Please KO that guy. You did not KO that guy. Alright. Faux seal! Thank you for that. This sandstorm is the worst thing. Alright, there's enough guys now that I don't need to vacuum cut anymore. That is a lot of missing going on here. Let me tell you. Okay, that's that guy taken care of. Let's use our Blast Seed, see if that misses. It didn't miss! And Buck leveled up, heck yeah. And since we used our items, uh, that makes us free to pick that up. <coughs> Alright, where are we headed off to now? Cacnea's probably out of pin- no, he's got one left somehow, that's nice. Uh, wait, what? do you have any move? Yeah, you have Poison Sting. Okay. What type are you, Cacnea? Are you a pure grass type as I thought? Yes. Okay. So 
So yeah, he doesn't have any stab moves, uh, but he sure is coming in handy for the lack of it. And there goes his last pin missile. Silver spikes are kind of like sticks and iron thorns, but even stronger. They might be even stronger anyway. Ooh, ow, roll out. Bad, bad idea. Bad move. Ugh. This is gonna be a pain. Get out of here. You need to waste a reviver seed. If you let it, Ninjask will get faster every turn it's in combat with you. It's kind of a pain. Let's see here. Leech Seed, that's very nice. Ingrain, okay. Whoa, thrash. Okay, cool. All right, let's, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh no, uh, sorry, Buck. You almost got KO'd again. And now I'm gonna get KO'd again. It's a good thing we brought so many Reviver Seeds this time. Sheesh. Alright, you know what? Screw you, buddy. I don't have to take this from you. Yeah, I mean, I would say that, but I... I don't want to use an orb on just one enemy, even if he is a pain. Why do you know so many multi-hit moves? I'm gonna run out of Reviver Seeds. At the very end of the dungeon. There, sheesh. Yeah, that better be worth a level up. How many, we're down to two Reviver Seeds and we started the dungeon with eight. Sand Slash is the worst. Okay, yeah, nope, not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. We're at the bottom. This is... Another underground. It's another Grand Lake. Fantastic. I didn't expect to see that this huge lake sprawling underground. Look, something's glowing way over there. That light. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it. I got it now. It's the same kind of light that we saw at Fogbound Lake. That means that light could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, Daniel. Whoa! It went dark! Wait. What? Who are you? Well, who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. Who are you? 
I'm Mesprit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the Time Gear. Protect the Time Gear? Metal Gear? I won't allow you to disturb the Metal Gear. Get ready! So yeah, Mesprit! We are fighting another legendary Pokémon for a boss. Good thing we have Cross-Eye Seeds! Let's, uh, surround him and just go to town, baby. Swords Dance. And just kind of wreck his face. And it would help if you guys would, uh... Does Mesper even know any physical attacks here? I'm turning your status moves off. Yes, Pin Missile, please. Pin Missile the Psychic type. Mesbert's a Psychic type, by the way. Ugh. I can't let you take the Time Gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to steal your Time Gear, really. Don't lie to me. Yuxi uses telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the Time Gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What? You heard it from Yuxi? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who's responsible? That would probably be me. So yeah, Daniel would follow Ben down here. Ben would be the one to knock out Mesprit. And, uh... <clears throat> Daniel would catch up with Ben, but Daniel would himself get intercepted by Team Olympia. Malleus, Abram, and Buck would try to knock them both out, but Den recognizes Baniel Den recognizes Baniel Ben recognizes Daniel immediately and escapes with him Ben that's Ben I must apologize but I'll be taking that time gear Ugh. stand aside I won't I won't let you take the time gear I have no choice then Ugh. Mesprit you lost that fight you sustain serious damage, so don't push it. You're not getting by us! We won't let you take the time gear. Alright. Sorry for this. Ugh. He's so fast. I'd say he's more strong than fast. Forgive me. I have no quarrel with any of you, but I'm taking that time gear. Ugh, the time gear. The thief is taking it. I'm sorry. Yuxi must not have been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. Sorry for doubting you. Oh, this is bad! We have to get out of here! But why? It's a time displacement field! What's happening? It's happening because the thief took the time gear. So time in this whole area... Time will stop all around the underground lake. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry! Run with all your might! Why don't we use the badge? Or our escape orb. Let's use our escape orb. Oi. The clouds lifted over Quicksand Cave and, and the vicinities of the arid area. We are not saving. We are continuing. Chapter 12. The only option. Thank you for helping with our criminal investigation. We have Mesprit under protection. Her safety is assured. We are dedicating all resources to the pursuit of Ben Nikolai. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. That is all. Now please excuse us. My, my. I'm absolutely astonished. So there was a lake deep under the northern desert? A and that wasn't all? A time gear was also down there? Yes, but uh, about that time gear. Uh, ben stole it, and we failed to even slow him down. In the end, that's the same as doing nothing at all. 
That's not true, by golly. Y'all did great work. Hey, hey, I think so too. Team Olympia can be really proud. But it's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling us what we should do next, right? Hey, hey, if we had only had one tiny hint. I must agree. Where will Ben strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Uh, Malleus, sir. There are some clues. One time gear was at Fogbound Lake, guarded by Uxie, correct? Another time gear was at the underground lake, guarded by Mesprit. Oh, that reminds me. Mesprit told us something interesting. Mesprit knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Uxie alerted her by telepathy. Oh, Mes this Mesprit's a girl. Okay. Incredible! Now that is really something! I should have known. There is an ancient legend. It be is believed that Yuxi is the being of knowledge and that Mesper is the being of emotion, but three Pokemon in total represent the spiritual world and are said to keep the world in balance. Three? So besides Yuxi and Mesper, there's another Pokemon like them? Yes, the last of the trios is Azoth, known as the being of willpower. Yuxi and Mesper both guarded time gears, therefore Azoth may likely likewise be protecting a time gear. Oh, I see. If we could locate Azelf, we may find a time gear with the Pokemon, and we may have a chance of seeing that thief Benjamin appear. That's correct. Those three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It's a fact that both Yuxi and Mesprit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep look something in mind. Yuxi's lake was located on a high plateau. Mesprit's lake was hidden far beneath the desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places, so the lake where Azelf live, it'll be somewhere that we least expect it to be. I get it now! You're saying we shouldn't look for water in the usual places! My, my, my. I commend you on your wisdom, Malleus, sir. I feel renewed admiration for you. Uh, thank you. It's really nothing. No, no, we too revere you. First, it was you, Malleus, sir, who directed to us to the northern desert. It turned out that there was a time gear far below the desert. So, Malleus Sama, your insight was entirely correct. Oh, so maybe the other places we searched, the eastern forest and crystal cave, those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. No, oh, I have an idea. Uh, Buck. Yep, yep, you want me? What can I do for you? I have a request. That crystal you picked up previously, may I borrow it briefly? My crystal? No, no siree! That's my precious treasure, by golly! And of course, but rest assured we won't take it away or do anything of the sort. Now, Daniel. There's something I would like you to do, Daniel. Please touch Buck's crystal. I should touch the crystal? If a secret remains hidden in Crystal Cave, if Daniel touches the crystal, it may trigger Chekhov's lens. It may trigger a vision. I see. That's what this is about. Chekhov's lens? What's that? It's a special ability that Daniel has. Sometimes when Daniel touches something, then he has a vision of an event in the past or the future that involves it. Oh my gosh, really? Hey, 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 there's really an ability like that? I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Daniel's ability. Please, may we? Okay, can't refuse a reason like that. This crystal, what will it reveal? Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Daniel? Here it comes. The dizziness is starting. Uh, now I'll take it. The time gear. No, you can't take it. Never. <coughs> that was... Ben was trying to steal a time gear. There was also another Pokemon. Was that Azov? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, Daniel? What? You saw Ben knock out a Pokemon, one that you'd never seen before, and then he tried to steal a Time Gear? 
Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling! How'd you get to see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. Hey, hey, Daniel! So that Pokemon you couldn't recognize, you think it might be Azelf? I have a question for Daniel, too. Did you see the past, Daniel, or was that in the future? Come to think of it, visions in the past, visions in the future, it's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future. Well then, since it's impossible to tell if the vision is of the future or the past, then Daniel's vision may well be of the past event. In that case, the time gear may have already been stolen from there. Ah! You're saying we may already be too late? Everyone, please, hold on. Yes, it's true it may have been a vision of the past, but it could have been a vision of the future. If you would be so kind, could you remind us what Mespert said, Abram? Who informed Mespert via telepathy that a time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say it was Yuxi? Uh... She didn't say the other time gear was stolen. I've never heard it before. The name Azelf is new to me. I only heard it today from you, Malleus, sir. Then there's still a chance. If Mesprit claimed that Azelf had alerted her about a stolen time gear, then Daniel's Chekhov's lens would surely be from the past, but that was not the case. Mesprit did not mention Azelf, therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point, and this is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, Daniel experienced Chekhov's lens. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in Crystal Cave. Perhaps there's a passage there that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe it is there! Of course, we may already be too late, or we may still have time. As long as the chance remains, we must never give up. It's our only option. Hey, hey, absolutely! There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thinking, Mally, sir. Yup, yup. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement! Let's go, everyone! Let's search Crystal Cave! Malleus, sir. There's only one thing to do, and that's explore Crystal Cave. Let's go! The whole guild will be involved. Onward to Crystal Cave! Guildmaster, please issue the call to duty. Guildmaster? Uh... Guildmaster? Izzy, are you with us? She fell asleep again. <laughs> they already noticed, Paul. You will not save your face here. <laughs> okay then, we are doing the thingy. Okay, and Malleus is joining the party even. Uh, except not quite. <laughs> so yeah, uh... We will discuss uh, the implications this has for the fanfic in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in a little bit.